All right, so what we're gonna go over tonight, we have a 2021 BMW M4 competition. No clue what the competition means. So this has a New York title. It's gonna be an MV907A. I don't know what that is. My wife would know what that is, but I don't know what that is. Uh, she handles all of our dealer stuff. She's the one with the deal, actual dealer license. Um, I'm just the one that points and clicks, buys everything and tells her, you know, basically what to pay for. Uh, the key's missing that catches me right out the gate. Odometer is 2,000. 526 miles not actual so this branch is also branded this one not actual i don't know if that's legit or if they're just covering their butt uh, this is also an off-site uh, long island storage one so this is up in new york long island uh, they're claiming this car is worth 78,623 and that estimated repair cost is 51,000 uh, dollars it is a geico insurance vehicle on this one and is a 3.0 six cylinder twin power so we went over this one one of these the other night the twin power thing i said comment in the comment section let me know if the twin power means twin turbos because i don't know these cars like that um i just seen it was like a brand new m4 so i figured we would check it out all right let's pull up the pictures so of course you can see it's pretty self-explanatory on this one uh tore up hood tore up bumper uh, i bet you the crash bar is going to be tore up obviously uh Man, I wouldn't be surprised if that wheel ain't bent, that tire is flat. Uh, it could just be a sliced tire. It does not mean the wheel's bent, but it's definitely something that grabs my eye. That tire's flat, so we could have damage. Uh, definitely got something going on. Um, windshield almost appears to have some spider cracking. Uh, driver airbags definitely deployed. Passenger side curtain bags deployed. Dash, you know, from first look. Uh, Hood stuck, they wrote on the hood stuck, so that means we're probably not gonna have a motor picture. We'll see here in a minute. Uh, rear of the car is nice. Must have had too much of that twin power and got away from somebody. Windows are cracked and down, as in they're not all the way closed, so the battery's probably dead and it can't go up on its own. But yeah, you can see all the bags are blowed out. Pretty much everything. Yeah, she uh, took a punch to the face. So there ain't really much to talk about there. You can see pretty much everything on the front end is probably cracked or busted. Yep, battery's dead. Because that's the reason why, like you see the odometer, it's not even doing it. And they can actually probe these vehicles where if they can't get to the actual battery, they can, uh, a lot of them can stick a thing in the cigarette lighter and sometimes get it to power up enough to get the mileage off of it. But obviously this branch don't have it or they just didn't even care to get the mileage. They probably just pulled the mileage off the uh, last known restoration or whatever. So no motor pictures on this one because the hood is stuck. Uh, let's spin this one and see what we got. So yeah, I mean, as you can see, front end's all crunched in. I mean, this one's going to be pretty self-explanatory. Fender's knocked back. Um, yeah, I'm guessing somebody out there probably repaired. You know, it's not unrepairable. Or they might just part it out. I don't know what the value is on these things. Like what that real world value is, not the value on paper. So, but a lot of your uh, bread and water on your front end, a lot of times your hoods are worth a lot, you know, in the part out and, you know, motors and everything, obviously. So a lot of your bread and water in your headlights, these BMW headlights get really expensive. So a lot of the bread and water on this car is demolished. So let's see if we can check the interior out real fast. Pretty basic airbags deployed, all that stuff. So it's not really gonna be much to look at in here. The insurance company again is claiming it's worth 78,000. Let's see what it brought. So it brought 38,450. It's another one that's on approval, meaning that uh, they didn't accept the bid right away. Insurance company wanted more than 38,000 and they put it where basically the auction has to call and you know let the insurance company know what it brought and then they'll decide if they want to sell it but that's pretty much it on that one um but somebody tonight somewhere is waiting to see if they own an m4 now and they were willing to cough up thirty eight thousand dollars and this is before fees um you know so this is just the final bid amount this is not fees and you know final out the door prices it's just bids because you will have fees on top of that on top of that 38 uh 450. let's see what that's going to be on this one we go to our cost calculator, 38,450, if it'll let us do it. Yeah, so they were going to be 44,278 out the door on that 38,450 bid. That's what they would actually be out the door. So plus transportation if they have a towed. So good luck to whoever bought it. 
hopefully you got that 44,000 ready in case the insurance company says you own it because uh, they gonna want their payment. Like, comment, share, subscribe, y'all. We'll go over one tomorrow.